Hello. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to an exciting new tool called UiPath Task Mining. Task Mining analyzes employees' day-to-day -day desktop activities and applies artificial intelligence to identify repetitive tasks which have high potential for automation. This accelerates process discovery and will help drive more pipeline for automation. Meet Beth. She is an RPA COE director at a large manufacturing company. Her organization has a strategic initiative to increase the productivity and efficiency of their operations, and automation plays a critical role to meeting those objectives. Using RPA, her team has already delivered significant ROI by automating their finance team's accounts payable processes. Now the challenge for Beth is to engage the stakeholders across lines of business to quickly identify automation opportunities beyond the low-hanging fruit which they've already automated. Instead of using manual, expensive, and time-consuming traditional approaches, her team has decided to deploy UiPath task mining to analyze their employees' desktop activities and leverage AI to scientifically identify automation opportunities. The first step in Beth's task mining project is to collect employee desktop data without interrupting their work. She will log in as an administrator, create a project, and then invite the employees to install the desktop app to observe their activities. The next step is to configure the settings, such as creating a list of approved applications to record. This ensures privacy and data protection concerns are managed as the desktop recorder will not collect data from applications not on this list. As you can see, it only takes a few minutes for Beth to set up a new project. Let's now meet one of our business users, Alex, who is an accounts payable specialist on the finance team. As one of the users who Beth invited to record their work, he receives the invite, then downloads and installs the application to his local laptop, and finally logs into the task mining application. Once all the invited users have installed the application, Beth is ready to start the recording, which she can trigger directly from the central portal. Once recording is active, Alex simply performs his daily activities and does not need to interact with the application at all. He does have the option to see which applications are being recorded, but otherwise he can go on with his day-to-day -day work uninterrupted. After one week of recording has been captured across all users, enough data has been collected to begin the analysis phase. To begin, Beth logs into the UiPath AI Center on the same automation cloud platform that she used to deploy task mining. She will then launch a new machine learning package for task mining to perform the analysis on the recorded data. This part of the project only takes a few steps to run, and more importantly, no data science knowledge is required to run this analysis. Beth receives a notification email once the analysis result is ready, letting her know it's time to move on to the next phase, which is visualizing the results. For the results viewing, she invites Macy along, who knows the accounts payable processes very well and will help Beth interpret the results. Beth and Macy find a summary page of the results, which provides a high-level understanding of key metrics of the project, such as the total number of recorded hours, the number of actions captured, such as clicks and types, the applications used, and most importantly, the number of repetitive tasks that were identified as potential candidates for automation by the artificial intelligence model. Moving down, they find a more detailed view for each of the identified tasks, showing the total time spent on that task, the number of users who performed that same task, the number of traces or ways the task was completed, as well as some additional metrics to help better understand the task complexity. Task number one seems like the most promising automation candidate, so they decide to explore that one in more detail first. Upon opening task one, they are presented with a process map for the most commonly occurring trace, in this case, trace number eight. Each step shows a short description, along with the duration, the frequency count between the steps, and a start and end point to show the order of the steps. Additionally, filters can also be applied to help simplify the view and hone in on desired aspects. Once Beth clicks on one of the steps, a new panel opens showing the detailed screenshots associated with that part of the task, 
for a quick and easy way to drill down to explore the individual clicks and types of this task. Upon review of this particular step, Macy quickly realizes that a more intuitive name for this step is to search based on invoice number. So she easily edits the name to reflect this change. After reviewing this trace, Macy realizes that this task is a vendor inquiry email process. So they also rename the task itself at the top panel. The task begins with receipt of an email and then can go to one of two different ERP systems depending on the type of inquiry. However, upon further inspection, Macy realizes that the starting step should really begin with a step that was not part of this trace called open inquiry email folder. To make this adjustment, Beth clicks recompute task and then can easily incorporate or reorder any of the steps for this trace based on Macy's own understanding of the process. The machine learning model will now recompute a new process graph and related metrics based on the new input from Macy. This feature provides users the ability to define the ideal task steps or make some minor adjustments if necessary. Now that Beth and Macy have a clearer understanding of what accounts payable process this task represents, it's time for them to assess the traces to find which is most suitable for automation. To start, they click on another trace in the left-hand pane to check the details of the other traces. One feature that makes reviewing traces quick and painless is the replay function, which allows them to quickly see the steps animated and understand what the trace represents. As she reviews more details, Macy is now confident that trace number two is the most suitable version of this task for automation. So she clicks save as representative trace and bookmarks it for quick access in the future. Having determined that this is the trace they would like to automate, they now move on to the final step of the project, the export phase. In addition to finding suitable processes for automation, task mining can also help accelerate the documentation and development for the automation by exporting the task to a process design document in UiPath Studio file. To do this, Beth simply clicks the export trace button on the bottom left corner and the files are saved. Satya, who is an RPA developer, is now ready to start building the automation based on the PDD and the studio file that Beth has sent him. To learn more about how you can uncover more automation opportunities, please visit the Task Mining product page on uipath.com. And thanks for watching.